All right, in this video, we're going to talk about shifts in both the supply and the demand curves. So what happens when we get a simultaneous shift in supply and demand? Uh, in earlier videos and elsewhere, we've talked about changing just supply or just demand, um, but we could also change them both at the same time. So an increase in supply, an increase in demand, for example. Uh, what can we say about equilibrium price change and what can we say about the equilibrium quantity change? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the four different combinations, you know, like increased demand, increased supply, increased demand, decreased supply, so forth, four different possibilities. Uh, and at the end, I'll have kind of a chart of summaries that summarize everything we've done. If you want to skip ahead, have a look at the video description. I'll have a shortcut. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So what happens when you have an increase in demand and an increase in supply? Well, to think about this, let's break it down into uh, two different parts. So first off, what happens with an increase in demand? Well, given an increase in demand, you know, we have our initial demand curve here, D sub naught, uh, and we increase it to D sub 1, we know that quantity is going to increase and price is going to increase. Uh, what happens when we have an increase in supply? Well, given an increase in supply, so going from D naught to, sorry, from S naught to S1, we can see that there's a decrease in price and an increase in quantity. Okay, so when we combined these two things, increasing the demand curve and increasing the supply curve, since uh, the individual parts both had increases in quantity, we know that quantity is going to increase with both increase in demand and uh, increase in supply. However, uh, in one of them, the price went up. In the other one, the price went down. So we can't really say anything about price because it all depends on a few things. So the power of the effects, you know, um, how big of a shift was the demand curve and how big of a shift was the supply curve. It also depends on the elasticity of all of these curves. So putting it all together, you could see uh, increase in demand, increase in supply. So S sub naught to S sub 1, D sub naught to D sub 1. We could see that the new equilibrium quantity is going to start. Uh, the initial one was this one. The new equilibrium is this one. Uh, so there's definitely an increase in quantity. However, th what's the effect of price? Well, we don't know because it depends on the elasticities of all of these curves and also the strength of uh, the shifts in the supply and demand curves. Okay, up next, what about a, an increase in demand, but there's a decrease in supply? So increase in demand is the familiar. Uh, we've already saw it. We saw an increase in the equilibrium price and an increase in the equilibrium quantity. So what happens with a decrease in supply? Well, a decrease in supply by itself, you can see starting from S sub naught to S sub 1, that's going to have a decrease in the new quantity uh, bought and sold in this market, and then there's an equilibrium, an increase in the equilibrium price. So what happens when we tie it together? Well, we could see the price movement is the same in both these shifts. So when we have a, uh, an increase in demand and a decrease in supply, price is going to move in the same direction. So price we can expect to go up. However, uh, the shift out in the demand curve increases quantity, but the shift in in the supply curve decreases quantity. So Quantity, we, we actually aren't going to know what's going to happen to quantity because it depends on the strength of those two effects and also depends on the elasticity. So to summarize, when we have an increase in demand but a decrease in supply, we have this. Uh, so you can see uh, D sub naught, S sub naught, the initial demand and supply curves have this equilibrium point down here. Uh, but when we increase demand but decrease supply, we have this new equilibrium that definitely has a higher price, but the quantity could shift either way. Uh, increase or decrease or stay the same depending on how big the shifts in demand and supply were and depending on the elasticity of those curves, like the slopes of those curves. So now what about a decrease in demand but an increase in supply? So starting off with a decrease in demand, what happens then? Well, a decrease in demand, so you can see we're going from D sub naught to D sub 1 here, a decrease in demand is going to decrease the equilibrium price uh, and drive uh, quantity down as well. So both price and uh, quantity are decreasing. And then increase in supply, we just saw in the previous example, an increase in supply going from S sub naught to S sub 1 here, um, that's going to drive down the price uh, and also increase the quantity um, you know, demanded supplied in this market. So let's look at the two forces together. We can see price, uh, given a decrease in demand, decreases, and equilibrium price, given an increase in supply, decreases as well. 
Uh, however, quantity um, goes down with the increase in demand, uh, and quantity increases with the increase in supply. So when we combine these two shifts together, we get an ambiguous effect on quantity. Um, we know price is going to go down, so uh, this is S sub naught, the initial supply curve, um, and this is D sub naught, the initial demand curve. So demand has gone down to D sub 1, uh, and supply has increased to S sub 1. So we started off this initial equilibrium with S sub naught and D sub naught, uh, and we're now at this new equilibrium. Price has definitely gone down. However, where quantity ends up is going to depend entirely on how big of a shift out in the supply curve there was and how big of a shift in in the demand curve there was. Um, so it could be the same. Quantity could have increased. Quantity could have uh, decreased. And now finally, what happens with a decrease in demand and a decrease in, in supply? Um, so decrease in demand we have here, both price uh, and quantity uh, have lower equilibriums. Equilibrium price has gone down, equilibrium quantity has gone down. Uh, and then with a decrease in supply, you know, the supply curve shifting in, we see a new higher equilibrium price uh, and a new lower equilibrium quantity. So the, equilib the quantity movements are the same with these two shifts. So when we combine the shifts together, we know equilibrium quantity is going to be decreasing. However, um, the equilibrium price with the demand shift in goes down. The equilibrium price with the supply shift in goes up. So it's going to have an ambiguous effect on price when we combine the two impacts. So you can see um, S sub not here, D sub not there. That's the initial demand and supply. Starts at this initial equilibrium point here. Uh, and then given a decrease in both the demand and the supply curves, so that's a shift in. Uh, we have our new equilibrium point over here. Where price ends up could be a higher, it could be lower, it could be identical. The impacts, you know, just a big question mark. However, we definitely know that quantity is going to go in. Um, and then to summarize, We have all of these four charts. So uh, just to walk you through the, the notation. So given D, demand increases and supply increases, we know that quantity is going to increase, but price, the effect on price is ambiguous. So it could be up, could be down, could be the same, not sure. What does it depend on? In all cases, it depends on how big the shifts were. You know, is it a large shift or a small shift? Uh, and then also the slope of these curves, so the elasticity of these curves. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Um, thanks and have a good day. Bye.